Kobe Bryant is widely regarded as one of the greatest scorers the NBA has ever seen. And in a long line of players dubbed as Kobe Stoppers, Shane Battier is one of the most respected names. In 2009, the two engaged in a legendary playoff duel in the Western Conference semifinals. But what were the ins and outs of his defensive style? How was Kobe still able to score so many points? And with Batty's defense really that good? Let's break it down. At six foot eight, 220 pounds, Batty didn't have the fast twitch feet or lateral quickness to cut off Bryant's first step. But he still possessed good lateral quickness, sort of slide with Kobe from the side and try to contain him with his length and knowing he had help behind him. He was very fluid, so he was good at flipping his hips and positioning himself so he could play this slide by the side defense style against Kobe. And this play right here really stands out as Battier does a full 90 degree turn to swivel his hips and stay with Kobe on the crossover and then puts up a fabulous contest, forcing the miss. Another thing that stood out to me was his core strength and how he was able to absorb contact when Kobe lowered the shoulder on his drives, meaning he could stay in position even if he could not initially cut off Brian's first step. Battier's defensive discipline was also huge since Kobe was a player a lot of his game was predicated on up fakes and hesitations, but Battier did a great job of not biting at these moves. In addition, his deceleration could be phenomenal. As in this possession, he stops on a dime multiple times while sliding backwards to stay attached to Kobe. And then he ends the possession with a fantastic contest as he is airtight to Brian. And on this possession, he picks up Lamar Odom in transition, so he has to cover to Bryant. And look how fluidly he decelerates and then flips his hips so he doesn't get blown by on the closeout. And finally, Battier could wreck a lot of havoc with his hands as he could be super precise with swipe downs when Kobe was going up or just poking the ball away from him. His reflexes were also fantastic as several times throughout the series, he picked Kobe's passes out of thin air with his quick hands. And here he traps Kobe in the corner nicely before snatching his pass with that hockey goalie hand-eye coordination. This possession right here just sums it all up. First off, positioning, him, positioning himself to force Kobe baseline, sliding his feet from the side, absorbing the contact from Bryant and finishing it off with a perfectly timed swipe down. And then when the ball is re-inbounded, not biting for any of Kobe's turns or fakes, and finishing it off with a great contest. And let's compare bad defense on Bryant to teammate Ron Artest, who occasionally guarded Bryant himself. And Artest, like Badier, he can't quite cut off Bryant's first step, but he didn't make the same effort of swiveling his hips and trying to stay attached from the side. So oftentimes, by the second step, our test was fully blown by on Kobe's drives. But, as I mentioned before, Kobe still scored a lot of points, averaging 27 points per game for the series, and he shot around a respectable 45% when Badier was covering him. However, the biggest source of Kobe's makes were difficult mid-range jumpers over Badier's famous hand-in-the-face defense. Only a small percentage of the shots were open and or shots at the rim. But for the most part, Badier did a good job of sticking with Kobe on his moves and ending the possession with a decent enough contest, even if Kobe made the shot a lot of times. One area where Badier wasn't outstanding was his screen navigation. A lot of times he would be playing a little too far off of Kobe, meaning he wasn't attached to Bryant when the screen was set, allowing Kobe to get a couple steps ahead of him. Batty actually had success a few times in the series, going under screens 
and recovering to Bryant using his length. Off-ball chasing Kobe around, he could run into the problem of getting a bit spacey and falling behind Bryant or failing to make himself skinny on the screens. But in general, he did do a decent job of recovering and putting up a good contest or just fighting through the screen. Even if these off-ball pin downs were only a small percentage of Kobe's shots. Another issue I have is that while his defensive discipline was good, sometimes he get over eager, lunging in for reach in steals, allowing Kobe to get a step on him. Overall, though, I was highly impressed with Battier's defense. And even if he may not have been the Kobe stopper, he was certainly one of the best Kobe Bryant defenders in the NBA. Well, that is it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe for more NBA analysis and see you all next time.